Well, Dan, the county elections office tells me tonight that these numbers so far are historic. They're record numbers, but they haven't had any problems in terms of dealing with all of these ballots. Election day now less than a week away, and the early votes are coming in at a record pace. That machine in the back is going to start uh, sorting the ballots, so that's our ballot sorting device. More than 89,000 ballots in Monterey County have already been returned, checked, and counted. That's more than double the amount a week before Election Day in 2016. Ina Gutierrez walked us through how her team is handling the historical early voting numbers. Now that we have more ballots coming in, we have a larger team. That team, made up of trained temp workers with two eyes on every ballot, checking for quality. What they're doing is they're checking to see if, for example, the ballot has been filled out in pencil because or red pen because our scanners can't see that. Those ballots are sent through a duplication machine, making sure every vote counts. Once the ballot arrives to our office, it takes a few days to process. Gutierrez says several factors could be credited with the spike in early voting results, including changes in state law due to the pandemic. As soon as we've, we've received ballots, we've been able to process. So that's why those numbers are also higher. And with more early voting, the elections office is hoping for a more COVID friendly November 3rd. Since people are voting early and we are already getting a lot of ballots here in office, um, hopefully we won't have any lines or anything like that. But if we do, we're prepared for that as well. And Monterey County is also seeing a registered or they have a registered a record number of registered voters. More than 205,000 people are registered to vote in the county. That is more than 20,000 people than in 2016.